Don Bora became his wife, or not really a wife, because as he points out, as Lang points out, they couldn't be validly married since they were both bound by vows already. And um, then they, they went on to live as a man and wife and, and to have children. And, you know, there was actually scandals connected with her. And something which I, you know, which is in the translation, which um, it's kind of a bit difficult to translate because it's a bit indelicate. But it, it says, it is well known that as long as this Katharina cohabited in Wittenberg with Luther, she would also share company and favours with the young scholastics there. Indeed, she was said to be like the proverbial she-donkey of Jerusalem, mm. which was available for the common use of the well, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I noticed a lot of other people comment on other videos, and I've actually been wanting to do this a few times because I hear so many different things. Now, this is regarding uh, Martin Luther and his break from the Catholic Church, and he ended up with one of the nuns that he, uh, according to this guy, Robert Nixon, kidnapped from. Um, a nunnery. However, it says that they rescued them, which I do these things where I check with God, like, what's the truth? Yes, he rescued them. Sometimes people were put into these nunneries against their will. They didn't want to be there. <clears throat> and being rescued was a, a great idea. So that's one thing that is true. They were rescued. And the second thing here, and the reason why I highlighted this whole part of the entire interview that this woman did with uh, Robert Nixon. Uh, her name is Angela Erickson. Anyway, they both um, were just so happy to believe this lie that was told about this woman. Um, now think about it. They said they couldn't get married because they'd already made vows. So did you th do you really think that this woman went from being a nun or having that kind of um, morality to, uh, to sleeping with everybody? Or do you think she would have attempted to have as close to a marriageable relationship as possible uh, that she could in the eyes of God without actually having or being able to get married? See, and so I checked with God. Of course I did because... I don't want to just like believe something that somebody wrote that could be some scandalous lie because I've had people tell scandalous lies about me that aren't true and people believe them. And now some guy wrote it in the book and you're believing it and you're repeating this scandalous lie throughout his history and you're confirming it as if it, as if it were true. Um, and I really think uh, one thing that people really need to do when they're hearing things that like that is uh, obviously not for everybody, but for those people who really do have a true relationship with God or Christ or any ascended master that they're close to that they know that they'll hear the truth from, that they really start asking them what the truth is because you know what they say, ask and you shall receive. But um, so basically, we, not just me, but we, all people need to start asking for the truth so that we don't continue to spread lies. This is, I should do a, a few more. I even left a comment on this one guy's page. I shouldn't even have bothered leaving a comment. I should have just pointed out his fallacy by making a, uh, another video but anyway I I don't need to go through this whole uh, this whole video because it's it's pointless I really only felt that this was the portion of the video that was uh, completely untrue I felt it right away I knew I said gee that sounds like a lie and so I checked and indeed it was a lie so I'm so sad that that uh, that Robert Nixon doesn't take that time to check the validity of his beliefs with God prior to spreading them out into the community.